Waiting for departure. Far too early in the morning. Everybody's at Starbucks. Here I am at the Miley Sky Court. Got in about half an hour ago. Uh, the trip over was flawless. Uh, customs, US Customs was curious why I had so many clothes for the Marshall Islands, but we got past them. No problem. Just have a look outside the 26th floor. Overcast, trade winds blowing. 29 degrees. Very nice, you can tell. That I'm in the process of changing from those things to those things. Hopefully I'll be wearing them for the next month to six weeks. Or I'll be wearing this. Uh, just taking a look at all the gear. There's a bag of all the clothes. Weighs about 50 some pounds. Bag of all the boat parts, dive gear, harnesses, follow weather gear, e perbs bilge pumps, etc, etc. Anyway, carry on bag. Got the laptop and all the essentials I could just not do without in case something went missing. Anyways, I am going to get my flip flops on and go look for a bottle cap to step on. Later. Here we are in Hawaii. It is 2.07 local time. You can probably hear the wind. It's the trades. Blowing pretty hard. That's what they're going to get us all the way to Vancouver. Anyways, I'm down somewhere down here. There you see that? Have the cheeseburger. Anyways, just gonna go and wander around. When I get lost, I'll get a cabin and find my way back. Just walking towards the beach, Ala Moana Boulevard. Remember earlier I said I was gonna get lost and then find my way back? Wow, looky here. What is that? A map of Waikiki. So, anybody that knows me, do you think I'm gonna get lost? Ain't gonna happen. Here we are, Ala Moana Boulevard. Down in here towards the beach, down in here is Alawai Yacht Basin. That's where uh, Terror of Hannah and Rob Halbert spent some time. And what's that? Oh, look at that. Red lobster. Anyways, so I got about a 10 minute walk somewhere this way. So I shall go get on it. There's a little channel just on the other side of Alawai Yacht Basin. My hotel is somewhere down about there. Spinning around, the sun's gonna get you. What do you have here? Alawai Marine. Boats on the harbor getting fixed. And into here is the harbor. Or a piece of it anyways. Anyways, still got about another eight minutes. Okay, I made it. Ala Moana Shopping Center. And I think some Macy's sheets will be fine. Just give you an idea what's going on. It's kind of like the North Shore. Rain hits the mountains over there. But then when you're over this way, it's just hot, which is perfect. Here we are in Ala Moana Park. And actually this pier over here, thereabouts is where Terry Rapena, Rob Helbert kept their boat by the time they were here. Anyways, yeah, so we're shooting into the sun, not too sure how it's gonna turn out. Ah, there we go. Somewhere over there, Many, 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 many miles is the Marshall Islands. But we'll be going up to Midway, which is northwest of here. Sorry, I had a pause there. A girl went by and I get in trouble for filming her. Yeah, it's typical commercial Hawaii. But it is fun here. It's so much fun. I even bought sheets. Mission accomplished. They're down in here. They are JC Pennies. And then they were on sale. $16. A full set. Another view here for you guys, just looking back towards into Hawaii, the Ot Basin. There 
we go. My hotel somewhere in there. Remember that map? Not to worry, I still have it. And a shot of Diamond Head. For what it's worth. So, anybody on Diamond Head? And the Yacht Harbor. And here you can see the rollers that come in. Yeah, lots of fun. But not to worry, the channel is marked. Where's that channel? There it is. M2, red right returning. Nice and dredged. Messy. But we're not coming here. Not to worry. Hawaii. My feet are killing me. The sheets weren't worth it. And here's a shot in Alamoana Park. Some parkites. Just a view here. Actually, I think I'm going to take a walk over there and look at them big rollers coming in. Yeah, on my way. Okay, here we are. Made it to the breakers. Warship out there. A tug, maybe. I don't know. I can't see. It's shooting into the sun here. Uh, let's see. Got away from the sun. Yeah, got some people in the water. Nice little beach down here. Definitely not Waikiki. That's behind me. Too far to walk. My feet are too sore. That's a nice little beach. Okay, here we go. This is off Alamoana Park. Watching some surfers. Hang 10, dude. And we have Waikiki Beach in here. Right in, <coughs> pardon me. Down in here. It's Waikiki Beach. Uh, I'll never hold still enough to get a focus there. And again, Diamond Head. And Hawaii Yacht Harbor. And here. There we go. Okay, my feet are sore. I'm gonna go find my hotel that's over there someplace. And that's probably gonna be it for filming Hawaii. That's the surf rats. Whee! Okay, next film, Marshall Islands. Here I am, Honolulu Airport just cleared the screening. Not too busy, it is 5.30 in the morning our time. Have to get down the boarding gate and get on the plane. Here we are, quarter to seven. Loading the plane in Honolulu, Hawaii on our way to the Marshall Islands. Then I'll be stopping at Majuro, Kwajalein, and then to on to Guam. Guam. Definitely a full flight today.
arrival. Madro dinghy dock. We so just rode ashore about 15 minutes ago. This is a little wet. The boat is out here. Oh, I don't know where it is. Maybe it's out here someplace. We're just going to stay put till the rain stops. The rain has stopped. Barry's getting the dinghy. Yeah, we're going to come around to the dinghy dock. And apparently the boat's over this way someplace. Let's see when we get around the corner. Oh. Here we got no, berry those, cooking. Like, um. those, those chunks of fish, like, you know, it's a dollar sixty. Oh. Bonus. Wayne, uh, you know Wayne and Cheryl? Yes. He yes. said I should film you a lot. He says Barry likes being videotaped. Oh, indeed he does, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> whether we'll buy ourselves another frying pan while we're here or not, I don't know. But I guess if we're out, you know, we are frying, you know, that's the sort of size you want for three guys. If you're doing a fry of something. Absolutely. Just it seems to... Three. Here we are, first night. We will call this day two of the trip. It's day one of the sailboat. This is Madro. It's been raining all day. And the dinghy dock. It's right in past all of this stuff here. That's where we come and go from. It's the main commercial dock. Oh, is that Jimmy Buffett playing? Things to the right. And the pass we're going to be going out of is way in behind that boat there. Somewhere. We'll figure that out later when the time comes to exit this atoll. Down there is the major hotel of these here parts. Marshall Island Hotel. It's that fancy new building in behind there. What's that? Is that a beach? Oh, it's about as beachy as it gets around here. Here we are, day two. It's 6.07 in the morning here in the Marshall Islands. That's 11.07 Vancouver time. And again, we call this day two. Or it might have even been called day three. Peace Academy. But it's my first morning in the Marshall Islands. Here's Anchorage. That little squall just came through. I'm still in Vancouver time, so I was actually up at three local time, which is eight Vancouver. Made me some coffee, and uh, trying to figure out the stars at night, and then along comes these clouds. Just had a squall go through. So what we're gonna do today, tidy the boat up, and we're gonna head over this away. See if that focuses there, probably not. We're gonna head over there somewhere, about 20 miles away to uh, an island, and we're gonna do some diving. first morning. This little dinghy here, Barry found in the lagoon. Put an ad in the paper, nobody claimed it. So he's going to take it to the kids in Maloa Lap and give it to them. We're also going to pick up some little coloring books and some candies and stuff. Here we are around 12 o'clock in the afternoon local time, 5 o'clock Vancouver time. Just did a little bit of shopping. I was going to go wait to pick up the dive tanks at 3 o'clock. We're going to be down to the island. Which is good. Turned into a nice day. It certainly is warm. And the breeze just makes it totally bearable. And there is where we fill the scuba tanks. I will definitely get some film of how you walk through that. Very, very entertaining. Some of the little beach spots. And I wonder if they realize how valuable that beachfront property really is.
down out here. Oh, never mind me, tripping on everything. There's the airport. It's way. Oh, we're not gonna be able to see it from this angle. Oh, sorry for the confusion, but way down there is the airport. So it's actually a fairly big atoll. It's over 40 miles in width. That right there is the far end of the atoll. Uh, very, very nice beach. We'll get there. One of these days, 50 cents cab ride, no matter where you go on this atoll. And it comes right around this here, is sort of the downtown core. There's nightclubs, there's shopping stores, uh, all sorts of little home run businesses, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Fire hall, please. Uh, hospital, went by there earlier today, saw the ambulancias. Probably stop by there later and chat with them. And it goes all the way around, up past the airport, way down that away. Again, it's under the solar panel there. That's a freighter heading out towards the entrance of the pass, way out there. So like I say, it's probably about 30 miles away. So, very, very big atoll. Oh, there's another one. Hey, come on, focus, there we go. That looks like a Taiwanese fish boat. There we are inside the boat. This is lunch on day two. Some cheese, crackers, tomatoes, and of course having a beer ski or two. And look inside the boat here. I did them dishes this morning. I was gonna change some towels. Oh, we won't film Barry. That won't be very nice. A little bit of cleaning up to do in the boat here. In fact, I don't even want to film it. Bye bye. He got one of those fish boats and he's heading out to that freighter that came in earlier. And you see a couple tied up alongside. They unload their catch and the freighter goes back to Taiwan. And the fish boat continues to fish. Here we are heading out of uh, the Anchorage. As I said earlier, we're going to be heading over to one of the islands. It is 6.05. Your guys' time. Five hours difference from that. There we are, heading out. Here we have the Marshall Islands. This is kind of an idea of what we're heading to. Trade winds out today. We're just gonna go past these islands. Look at that. Is that not nice or what? And we're gonna go to a secluded little anchorage. Later. Here we have our first sale. We got the main up. Sounds good to me. There we go, people. This is the Marshall Islands. This is second day here. And look where I am. Oh, we're gonna get some bright sun. Bright sun coming, oh my goodness lord. Oh, they're doing the pig luau for us. Uh, I'm gonna go get some of that in between my toes. Eh? You gotta like it. Here's a spot to have a beer. So what happens out here on the weekend, this being Friday, Marshall Island time, Thursday year time, is the locals come out. That's Madro way in behind there. So it wasn't that far of a sail whatsoever. Got the main up, had to stay sail. Slowly, that's Madro back there, slowly. Checking this boat out. Beer time. Uh, morning everybody. This is day three. 
It is about 8 in the morning, Majuro time. That's 1 in the afternoon, your time. This is Saturday for us, Friday for you guys. So like I say, it's day 3, I'm just counting from the days I'm here because we get confused because of the day difference. So here we are, I just had some coffee. It's Barry's turn to do the dishes. We had a black bean stir fry last night. And what we're going to do today is put together some more of the boat parts and do some diving today. Shooting into the sun there. Slept out on the foredeck last night on some cushions and just a sheet. And even that was too hot. That sure was nice. So there we go. Damn roosters. Just heading out and do some diving right now. There's the Cardinal sitting at anchor. We'll be diving probably right in there. Do some shore diving. And we're just going over to Gentleman's Boat right now. Tom will be by later with some wine, cheese, and a bottle of Vito. Cardinal Sin. There won't be no Cardinal Sinning going on in that there yacht. <laughs> Later. For a couple of hours or something. Look at that um, beach. Wow. Look at that. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, day four. This is Sunday at about quarter after six in the morning. That would make it Saturday, or after 11 in the morning, Vancouver time. A little bit of cloud today, that's okay. Got a little burnt yesterday. So what we're gonna do today, as you can see, there still is a little bit of work to do in that boat. Oh, I don't even like filming this. Got one corner of the boat squared away yesterday. We'll do the other corner this morning before it warms up. See, we sort of need room to bring more provisions onto the boat. So, but we'll get there. I have full confidence. I have my cup of coffee, my flip flops. Ah, look at that. And the other thing we're going to do today is just go for a sail down to the pass which is about 10-50 miles that away because we want to look at the pass in the daylight uh, plus try out the sails a little more because when we leave Thursday next week, four days from now we'll be at dark so we put on the head sail yesterday that's a better one right there very good shape, it's about 100% and it'll be perfect for beating to windward to get to midway we tried out the stay sail yesterday we had the main out, all are in good shape. A lot of the blocks and that uh, were just seized from lack of use, so we're taking those apart and lubricating them. And then once we get to midway, we'll be putting on a bigger head sail and make it some better time. There. There's a block back here. That was lots of fun. Uh, yes, that one there. <laughs> And I didn't do the evening film last night. It was after the dive. Went over to the other gentleman's boat and had some wine and cheese. Came back, had something to eat, and then I spent the time trying to get an email out. And by the time I was done, it was dark. And connected a couple times, but the signal wasn't strong enough to, to get a message through. So I'm going to try again in a little while once I have some of my coffee. Okay. Chat with you this evening. Hello everybody, here we got a squall blowing through. So we got some cleaning up to do. Look at that. You can see the raindrops keep falling on my head. Look at that. Washing off the dive gear, so that's good. Just the boat gets very, very muggy when you have to have it sealed up. Another view for you. Look at that.
Still day four. Around 10.30 our time. We're just getting squared away. We tidied up the boat considerably. And once this boat's here, we're going to sail out towards that pass. Oh, later. Okay, navigation fans. Here we are heading to the pass. This is just a trial run. Today, the fourth day. Nice little balmy right there. That little bastard is three. There we go. Oh, three feet. Thank God it's marked. You can actually see the difference in the color of the water. We are going through the pass there, and what we're going to be doing is using the radar. There, you can see that little target there. Come on, focus you. Camera you. There we go. That's that uh, balmy we just passed. And see that little ring that's actually set at two tenths of a mile. And what we'll be doing, well, I'll figure this camera out yet. Set on automatic, not as good. Is when we leave here at night, we're going to be putting that two tenths of a mile ring right past the end of the island there. We're just going to tuck around that corner just in case there's shipping traffic. Let's see if this thing focuses. Oh, I'll read the manual. So between the radar, this, and our eyes will be okay. Out here is the sh actual shipping channel. You can see it through here. But we want to stay away from that, from the ships. There's a lot of Vietnamese fish boats that come here. And if they drive anyway, they do like in Richmond. We want to be over here out of their way. Anyways, I'll take a look outside for you. Okay, folks, here we are. That's looking towards the pass. That'll be the tip of the island we're going to go around. Again, using that range mark on the radar, two-tenths of a mile. And I'll just show you that balmy, that mark that we went past. Oh, it's way back here now. There it is. Sorry, standing still on a boat isn't the easiest thing. Fell through there. It's reef. That's the way. There we go. An unobstructed view of the pass. We're heading out there. And we're just doing a dry run today. Oh, a big piece of sail. These sails are actually in very good shape. Look at that. And the main. Whee! Oh, I'm gonna film the captain. He gets grumpy. Okay, we got to roll in the sails here and we're just gonna motor around the pass and get a good feel for it. Today is Monday the 18th, around 3 o'clock our time. We're just storing the boat. Get an idea of some of the things. Lots of reading material. And behind there is filled with uh, two cases of veggies, a dozen coke, some orange juice, got cans and cans of coffee. We're just filling up those containers there now. Got another bin of canned stuff somewhere under there. And again, filling up containers. This cupboard will be for stuff that's quick and easy to get at. Yeah, let's just take a look outside and see what's happening. As you can see, the boat's getting organized. here. Okay, here's a look outside for today. Didn't get a chance to film last night. By the time we came in from the sale, we took off to the telephone company that has the internet service to send some emails and came back and had supper. Had pork chops last night. Beans and rice. Hotel or resort, whatever they call it. and got busy and went down to the wholesaler, which is the stuff you've just seen put away. We still got to go to one of the local stores, buy all the vegetables and some odds and ends, like hot chocolate, etc, etc. The wholesaler didn't have in small enough quantities. There's some of the oddies out there. Oh, I forgot how to focus this. And these fish boats out here, what they do that big freighter in the middle, it shows up empty. These fish boats are so full of fish you can't even see the water line. 
they transfer it into the boat and off the boat goes. Uh, I'll give you an idea of a fish boat that's in the water line. A ride. Look at that. That is how loaded these things show up with tuna. And like I say, they go on freighters and they're out of here. Oh, sorry for the filming here, we're bouncing around. Right there. We'll be able to see too well. That's four. Oh, I think they're Vietnamese fish boats. They're all loaded alongside the dock, tied alongside the dock, and doing whatever it is that they do. Uh, look at that. Fishing for their dinner. Which is what we'll be doing soon. Anyways, like I guess say, this is day five. Monday our time. We'll be going out later, getting some more of the food, and filling up the diesel jugs. That leaves us Tuesday for some odds and ends. We're gonna do laundry yet. Wednesday we pick up some frozen chicken and the eggs and the cheese. And that leaves Thursday to pick up Jeff, give him a chance to do some odds and ends shopping for anything he likes, and we're ready. And if we have some more energy and get some more done today, tomorrow we can uh, maybe get a trip into one of the outer islands. Actually, there's a bus that goes down, it's called Lara or Laura. And it's a village way down in the end. It actually has a road that connects it. So we want to go down there and I want to piss on a palm tree in the village of Laura. Rick will understand. Well, hello there, everybody. Here we are on the boat. Uh, Jaberry just went ashore to pick up some handicrafts which he wants to mail. As you can tell from my face, I'm a little warm, not really burnt. Um, had a shave yesterday, yeah I'll have another one. Uh, back's a little burnt, that was from the diving, uh, the suntan oil rubbed off. And then of course I can only get so much oil on my back anyways. Uh, it's Monday, about 5 o'clock. Uh, I'm waiting for it to cool down, we're going to have some wahoo for dinner. A uh, fish boat came in, somebody caught a great big stomp in Marlin. Didn't have the camera to take a picture, but uh, it was quite quite the sight. Um, anyways, here, I'll give you a little show around the boat and let you see what shape it's in now. One sec. Okay, so basically, that's one of the berths. Ooh, it's bright open. That we'll be sleeping in. Um, I got my two gear bags in there right now. My dive gear, I'm just drying it out. Gonna put it back in the bag. Um, the bags are all going in the bow. Uh, so that'll be one berth. That's my sheets. Uh, I'll wash those tomorrow. It's extremely hot in these here parts. Uh, over here is the nav station. Got a laptop, computer, uh, radar, etc, etc, etc. So we're all good for navigation. We tested it out when we went through the pass the other day. So we got no worries there. There's an extra outlet there to charge cameras. Uh, this here is going to be the other berth. It folds out a bit more, or pulls out, and it's got the lead cloths connect onto here. And of course over here on this side, um, basically that'll keep the weight on the starboard side. We're going to be on a starboard tack, heading hard into the wind, so we want to keep the starboard side down and gain some boat speed. Drying out some onions, supposed to dry them all out nice and dry before packing them away. Lots of boat books over there, cabinets full of stuff, all these cabinets are just jam packed with food. So thing over here has got a 12 volt outlet there as well for charging cameras and stuff. Uh, on this side, again, all these covers are just jam-packed with food. Uh, we're going to put the pancake mix in a plastic jug. In there I got some camera stuff, got a stereo, got lots of books to read. Lots and lots of books. Uh, my two hardcover books are in there. Joshua Slocum and the one Jen bought me. Uh, it's Barry's pack sack and just a bit of dive gear that needs to go away, so definitely much better shape. In the galley here, uh, basically, ready to get at stuff is going to go here. The craft for hot water. Uh, we got instant soup mix, etc. Hot chocolate. We got some powdered milk, and of course some uh, oats for porridge. And basically, all this stuff here, we're going to use some of these containers for some stuff, and then we're going to tuck them away. In here, we got sail bags and fenders and that, but we're keeping everything low because right there's the fridge compressor, and we've got the cabinet open. Get, let it get lots of air so it works as efficient as possible. 
because we'll be putting 40 pounds of frozen chicken or well probably 20 pounds we're going to try for 40 but I don't think that'll work and then we'll get some beef in that in there got your galley stove needs a little cleaning under there but we'll get that done and there's pots and pans knives forks everything in here that cabinet there is going to be the ready to get at stuff uh, hot chocolate coffee uh, etc etc it'll also be the spices and here we got all the plates uh, and those sort of things so we're getting there it's certainly a far cry of improvement and out in the cockpit here we're almost organized those three boxes are our emergency water that'll be for our overboard kit and each one contains five gallons of water that's specifically for uh, for the need if we have to go in the life raft it'll come with us it's not for consumption on the trip uh, a little bit of dive gear yet to go away but we'll get that squared away and all the stuff in the back here is going to go in a locker we're just getting it all dried out before stuffing in a locker um, and the pail will be tucked away so basically this will be a clear area so we don't break our goddamn ankles like we bloody well have been doing the last couple days and again out on deck here the dive gear just drying out get that away jerry cans all tucked away these ones over here need filling which we'll do the covers are ready for them that's the life raft so we're almost there oh, don't know what the hell that is that there bottle of vodka cost five dollars <sighs> don't know how it got empty and a couple chairs we just got them out of the way right now because we were coming through here with all their grub so the food's pretty much on the boat just need a couple odds and ends uh, we're gonna get some more water just for consumption uh, little one liter jugs and we're getting there gorgeous day out here got the trade winds it's always a breeze here the wind generator is the way to go there, there's one look at those juicy amps anyways well I'm gonna show now I'm just gonna relax for a bit till Barry gets back we're gonna have supper it'll be cool by then we're up early tomorrow, got to get the propane bottle filled. The gentleman comes and picks it up and returns it at the end of the day. Uh, we're going to get all this cleaned up tomorrow. And we're going to fill up those three jerry cans of diesel. Uh, probably put one of them in the boat so we'll actually end up filling four. And we're going to go up the mast, or Barry's going to go up the mast and just check some of the instruments. And we just have a couple odds and ends of things to buy. Some teriyaki marinade, some shake and bake, a can opener for the cans of orange juice. Um, we know what went in there. Um, so we're getting there. I'm going to buy a bit of beer, a bottle of rum for a sundowner here and there, so nothing too major. And we are off on Thursday. So we're actually ahead of schedule. I just haven't told Barry that yet. So we'll just keep it that way. We'll keep it our little secret. So this here is the Laguna Madro, which is the capital of the Marshall Islands. And very industrial, third world-ish, but when you just get about 10 miles out of here, it just becomes fabulous South Pacific, and, it, and it's pretty much instant. Uh, you get to remote solitude just by going a couple of miles out of here. That's all it takes. Anyways, that's it for now. If I have time in the morning, on the sixth day, I will give a little shout. But I think tomorrow's gonna be another busy day. Anyways, later. Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, April the 19th. Monday, April the 19th, your time. It's around 8.30. I just came back from Faxon. A little chart to Lynn. It cost me 12 bucks US. Would have been cheaper for her to go down to Granville Island and just buy a whole new one. What we're going to do today is we got the propane being filled right now. I'm going to run into town, send Jeff an email to bring some pasta sauce mixes because there don't seem to be any here. And Barry's going to do some work on the boat. And I'm going to go get some more provisioning. And we're slowly getting together. This afternoon we'll pick up scuba tanks. We're going to just uh, snorkel the bottom and give it a scrub. Another gorgeous day here. And, and also clean the fridge and start uh, cooling it down to freezer mode. Yeah, it's gorgeous here today. Actually, over here, it might be too bright with the sun yet this morning. 
actually in there, that's where we get the scuba tanks filled. And that actually, and I'll get a better picture later, is an old landing craft that is literally part of the coral beach now. There's a rickety old ladder we climb up. And, uh, well, it's a little hard to describe. You walk through that in there. I'll get a better picture later. Quite entertaining. Kind of. Alrighty. Chat with you later. I'll see if I can bring the camera with me on the trip in today. Since I'm going by myself, I can take time and uh, shoot a couple shots of Lajero later. Okay, here we are. It's April 19th again, later on in the day when I last talked to you. This is the dinghy dock that we go to. It's called the RRE Dinghy Dock. Obviously because it's Robert Reimer Enterprises. I have too much sun, you can't see that. Little hotel in here. And just up from the dinghy dock is a store. You can catch a cab and do whatever it is you need to do. There's some boats on marine pins here. Got the freighters and the fish boats out in the anchorage. And a few more sailboats out. We're actually in behind the freighter right there is Cardinalson. Right there. Sorry, just filling in while I'm in a dinghy isn't so easy. Anyways, I'll take some shots of Pajero for you guys. Hopefully this thing starts again. Oh, actually before I do that, here's another shot of the dock. We can get fuel here. Get my cold beer there, but you can't drink it till after 4.30 in public anyways. And the dinghy dock. Robert Reimer's Enterprises. R R E. Sorry, just a little bouncy here. Guys, yes, we're going there tonight for Mexican night. The Yachties organizes it. And it's cruise night. Rito and beer. Ooh, lovely. Anyways, I need to go there, so I'll chat with you later. Okay, here we are. That's where the dinghy dock is. Just came up from there. And the hotel is right in behind here. That's that hotel that we go to. We're going to go to. And then across the street over here is the post office. And that's a grocery store there. Again, Robert Reimer Enterprises. Then down this way, which is kind of east, is where the internet place is. You can also get internet from the hotel here, but it's somewhat expensive. A little unreliable. Sent that fax today and it cost 12 bucks. Anyways, I shall shoot some video down from the NTA, National Telephone Authority, or do some internet. Okay, here we are. That's the Capitol building. Majuro is the capital for the Marshall Islands. And over here we got a movie theater. And the Payless supermarket right here. This is, I just bought some provisions. And behind, that's where the wholesalers, where we got our grub yesterday. That's just the way towards the airport. And that out there is out towards the lagoon. Try and count the number of taxis that go by. This town is full of them. Good truck. Okay, that's the lagoon. Quite nice. Our boat is somewhere in behind that tree there. Probably right in there. Anyways, I'm going to go over to NTA, which is just a short little walk right over somewhere about there. Later. Okay, we are down at the NTA. It's 3 o'clock your time, 10 o'clock our time. See the beach in through there. The big dishes. Marshall Islands National Telecommunications Authority. This is where we do the internet. In there, it's eight cents a minute. The old Pacifico's over on that side there. So as you can see, the reef goes from there, basically to there. That's it. Anyways, 
Time to send some emails. And a little buddy there. And out the last of my gum. Later. Okay, here we are. It's still Tuesday the 19th. Now lunchtime our time. Back from the store. There's some onions drying out. Pancake mix we're about to put into a container. It's got them washed out. Got some tunes. And there's rice again, I'm gonna go into a container. I'm not gonna bother showing you the flax and the musso and oh, but there's some oh, I don't even know what that is. Better taste good. Um yeah, so the boat's coming together. Got some odds and ends here. Got some tape for berries, sending something to his sister, some garlic, some ginger. Again, lots of books all in place. Again, that's one of our verse back there. Slowly, slowly, slowly getting together here. Berries over the side right now, scrubbing the bottom. It's my turn next. So what we've been doing is putting the food in containers back in there. We've got three big containers of coffee. There's some extra containers, so we're this will all be tidied up shortly. Still need to go purchase one more pot, and I've asked Jeff to bring me a thermal mug, which I totally forgot. And there we got our spices, etc., etc. Got the fridge cleaned out. We're just cooling it down now. We're gonna get the frozen chicken, veggies, meat, and all that tomorrow. Eggs. So we want the fridge ready for that. So all in all, it's coming together. That's all going in the aft locker. We're just opening and got it airing out for the fridge right now. One sec, I'll step outside. There we go, much better. Eh? Looking like a boat. Just some of the very stuff. Got these little cubby holes all tidied out now. We're getting into be in good shape. Let's go find Barry. He loves being filmed. Those are mine. I'm in next. There he is. Well, well, well. Blimey, we caught an Englishman. Smile for the camera, Barry. We're filling those up this afternoon, getting them covered just like these ones. That'll all be gone. We're almost ready. Another gorgeous day here. That's the MTA, where it was earlier. It's gorgeous. Palm trees in there. A little shanty town. Actually, a lot of the stuff around here is shanty town. Anyways, Let's see what he's doing. Oh, I'm still kicking. Later. Some of the yachts here in Majuro. Beachfront property here in the Majro. You can see in the water there how clear it is. My brothers were here. So here we 
have that landing craft. Get a picture in a sec, got a tie line. Okay, here we are. Just landed on the arse end of this landing craft. You just see how clear the water is. That's a superstructure of a ship. Came from out there. Right there, actually. This moorage costs about 365 ish dollars US a year to tie on the mooring. That dinghy dock I showed you earlier, everything there is free as far as tying up goes. So there's Barry. Like I say, what we have here, I'm standing, actually standing on a landing craft. And it has literally become part of the coral reef. That's the trail we walk on. When I first got here, I couldn't find the way, and Barry goes, What's the matter? Isn't the path obvious? Very, very interesting. Ooh, what's that? Just hulks. Nothing but hulks. Uh oh, I gotta go. Bye bye. So that's where I got the tanks filled. Apartment condo pento suite. Palm trees. Okay. Lots of fun. We just put some 134A in this machine. Don't have a clue what went in. It ain't the pound the guy said it is, but it's frosty back to the compressor, so we're in good shape. And it'll last us the next few months. So done deal. Okay. Just Great. hit the white button again in a pub. Here we are, Wednesday the 20th, it's 9 p.m. your guys' time, actually Tuesday the 19th, and around 4 our time. As you can see, it's turned into a boat. Look at that. That's going to be going inside. But look, you can see my feet in here. Just got that open still for the fridge compressor. I'm going to flush that out, put in some water, again for the overboard kit. Drogue's gonna strap back here, but after we do the leg to midway, we're gonna keep weight up on the starboard side. So we're gonna be on a starboard tack, and if we can flatten the boat out, we'll sail faster. So the drogue is actually right there, and we'll lash that in. Uh, we're just gonna top that diesel jug up. We put in about three gallons of the boat to top it up. So we're gonna top that up and cover it. That tarp's going someplace in that back locker. Again, once we get under the way, gotta let the, the fridge breathe. And here we are. So basically, this whole front end is gonna be buttoned up. And then try our trip to Midway. The anchor, we're gonna leave on to Maloa Lap. And we're gonna put it in the aft locker. Uh, we don't want any weight up in the bow. Uh, might be able to have it on there until midway, but certainly the last leg. We don't want any weight up in the bow. Another gorgeous hot day. Take a look around. There's only about a dozen boats here now. They're all starting to leave. We're leaving tomorrow. A couple others are leaving on Sunday. And remember that fish boat I was telling you about? There, just bear with me. Here, let me pause it for a second. Remember I was telling you about the freighters and how the fish boats come? And like I said, I pointed this boat out here earlier and it was so far in the water line, you couldn't even see it. Well, it's filling up that freighter, which is right there. And that, when it showed up here about four days ago, was high and dry. Now, it's low in the water line. Fish boats have been nursed to it steady. They just come in, unload their catch, and that freighter will be heading back to, I believe, Taiwan. Unbelievable. 
and that isn't the only one. There you see a couple there, etc, etc, etc. There's uh, more over there. They're just all over the place. Anyways, it's oh, one of the locals. He's from Seattle. He's been here several years. You ever want to know anything about anything? Just ask that guy. Glad to tell you. Very helpful that way. Anyways, we're going to be going over to William's boat tonight. I got a couple of cigars. William smokes. I'm going to enjoy having a cigar with him. And I go to the store, pick up a couple. There's his boat right there. That's William's. Interesting gentleman from the States. I go to the store, going to pick up some fishing lures tonight. Some more bottled water. And there's a couple gifts there I want to pick up. And other than my rum tomorrow, which I'll go with Jeff, he's going to arrive at around 11. Barry's going to check us out of immigration. While he's doing that, I'll take Jeff to the store. Any last minute items. Anyways, this is Majuro. Not too sure if I'll film Majuro again. I think you've pretty well seen everything you need to see in Majuro. Hey. There's my brother's house again. Anyways, later. Hello everybody, today is Thursday the 21st, 9 o'clock in the morning. Obviously it's Wednesday the 20th, 2 in the afternoon your time. See that oven? 100 degrees? No, I'm not baking anything. Ain't cooking nothing. Ain't preheating anything. It's just that goddamn hot down here. Slowly getting used to it, mind you, uh, but it's always damp and humid. So we got the boat squared away, as you can see back here. Uh, where's our fridge? There, see that nice big bit of ice? That's a fridge working proper. We're leaving that open, let it air out. It needs all the help it can get. Pretty much got everything squared away. Pretty much. Jeff should be here in two hours. Unfortunately, Back here in the bunk where I've been sleeping. Had a shower this morning and sat over there, even though that hatch was closed, got a little wet here. So I'm just airing that out. Boat's got lots of fans. Uh, there's one there. They're actually very good fans. And we're pretty well squared away. Oh, there's another fan. Uh, we got some potatoes just drying out. Everything, as soon as you take it out of the store, it starts to sweat with the temperature difference. So we've been drying everything out, wrapping them in paper towels and putting them away. Some bananas, actually very good local bananas, very sweet. And like I say, we're almost squared away. Actually we are squared away. This is just living clutter. Anyways, I'm going to show you some uh, fishing stuff that I got. Okay, fishing, that's our hand line. It's 300 pound test. It also has a metal leader. There's a pink hoochie that's been on there. I picked up some swivels to tie up our own hoochies. There's a couple colors that are supposed to work here. We also have a bunch more. And I'm going to try some homemade ones as well. we got some hooks and again those swivels, etc. Going to make them up. Barry's just heading towards the airport to pick up Jeff. Then he's going to clear through immigration. When I pick up Jeff, I'm going to bring the bags up to the boat. And we're going to do some last minute shopping. So he can pick up any personal items he might want. And then we just got a jug of diesel to fill up. And we're pretty well ready. Another gorgeous day here. Water temperature is about 86 degrees all the time. Uh, might be a little squall coming through. I'll be close by to shut hatches. Had some rain last night. Actually saw the Southern Cross, cross for the first time last night. There's a false cross and then the true cross. So I had a cigar, as I promised Mike, I'd have a smoke underneath the Southern Cross. All right. So as you can see, the boat's organized. Again, the hatch is open just to help the fridge. Got our running backstays all set up, all the rigging set up. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. That's that diesel jugs we're gonna fill up. We just topped up the tank, so we're just gonna top that up. Had to go buy a new gasket for it, got that done. That tarp's gonna be covering the dinghy, so that'll be out of the way. Uh, we're, we're in good shape. And again, just to look around. Just use up the last of this tape. a little bit of cloud coming in. And hopefully we get Jeff's stuff put away before it rains because when it rains it pours. 
unbelievable. We're just circling the anchorage right now. We're on our way out of here. I just thought I'd film over here because we haven't got over here. There's the boys. There's William. It's 2.30 our time, Thursday the 21st. Spend the night, night in the anchorage, the same one we are at before. And get squared away for a departure tomorrow. It's just too hot to finish loading the dinghy and everything else. The show is on the road. did get a chance to walk down that way. I'm sure it's the same as the other side. Hello everybody, this is Friday, 21st, 9.02 our time. Here we are still at Anamonet. Just want to show you a couple things on the boat here. One things that you've been seeing. For example, if you have a look here, the Dodger. A lot of the stitching is coming apart. Uh, hopefully it lasts. Uh, this dish coming apart up here and down that zipper over there. Uh, we're hoping it lasts. Uh, we'll probably throw some hand stitching in there just to ensure it lasts. And some nice friendly locals. There you can see how the stitching's off there and it's off up in here someplace. Actually it's not quite off there. It's just stretched a bit. So we'll throw some hand stitching in there and make sure it makes it for the trip. Basically it's just the heat on everything here is just so harsh. Had a good dive yesterday. There's actually a DC-3 in the water. And you can see a fuel tank, the DC-3 is roughly in about there. Skin dive depth. Uh, the water was gorgeous. And I'm gonna go in there again shortly. It is just a very hot day. So today we're getting the boat squared away. We've got a couple uh, rigging things to do, nothing major. Finish the final stowage, and uh, we're out of here this afternoon. It's 95 miles up and out of here. Uh, we're just gonna stop at one other spot. Uh, so this will be a shakedown. And the airport's out over this way. So today will be a shakedown, an overnight sail. Uh, we'll stay there a day maybe two just to do some final touch and goes and then we're off for the hardest bit of our sail and that's the stretch to Midway. Oh it's just gorgeous here. It's cheap here as well. The marine pins 365 bucks US a year which is quite effective. Food prices aren't too bad. Fuel's cheaper. Booze is cheaper. It's cheaper. I could learn to live here. Especially when you only have to go four miles away and come to anchorages like this. Come on. Oh, later. Here we are, still an atom on it. One of the neighbors come for their Friday weekend outing. Dropping the hook. Probably in about 10 feet of water there. We'll be leaving in a couple hours. Jeff's making lunch. Curry dish. Smells really good. There they go. Hooks down. Another gorgeous day here. Bolts already. We got the dinghy dash. Lash down. That'll be good enough for the overnight passage. Ooh, the deck's hot. Hurting my feet. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, gotta go. Bernie. There's our cook sweating away like a cook should. Here we are. We begin. It's 3 o'clock Friday the 21st of our time. 8 o'clock Thursday the 20th of your time. We're heading out. Got things squared away. We're gonna mortar through the pass, obviously. Making some amps, making some water. That's where we came from. Right back there. Way back there. And we're out of here. Follow the camera, Jeff. 
Okay, here's the deal here everybody. It is just before five our time. We're anchored off Kellen. That's anchor. It's an island just before the pass. There it is right there. There we are. So we're anchored right there. Uh, we're just out of the wind. The wind's coming from the northeast. That's this way and it's blowing big time right now. Over 25 knots. We gotta go around the corner and bang right into it. Off to Maloa Lap, which is that line there. So we're just going to hold off. It usually dies down in the evening and a much nicer start to our voyage. So, prudence is the rule, discretion is the motto. Alright, so I'll take a look outside for you. Okay, here's what it's doing. We're anchored off Callan. As you can see, we're getting lots of protection. And it's just pounding out there. See that? So he did actually have a We're just gonna wait. Relax. It's blowing big time. Yeah, I'll take a look from the bow for you. Okay, another shot of the anchor. We've got over 200 feet of chain out. Actually, just over 200. We're hooked into the coral. We're in 40 feet of water. All's good. Got a little bit of cloud cover right now. That's why I'm filming this because I got burnt today. Moved in the water a couple times today. Cut off. That's the pass. That's where we go out of. Right there. Uh, it doesn't look very nice. Kind of looks like a big brick wall. Whee! Adam Cowboy. So anyways, we're just relaxing right now. Again, it's about 5 o'clock. Hard time. Yeah, I'm out of hand here. And we'll just wait and see what this weather does. Like I say, we're safely anchored. We're on watch, got the GPS tracking us. So all's well, not a big issue. It's gorgeous out here. Never mind my filming. Still trying to figure this camera out. Ah, but isn't that gorgeous? See, you can see the coral, and the bombies, right in there. That dark, that's coral. Oh, here comes the sun again. Alright, nice little shack there. There we go. That's right around this corner here. Okay, everybody. You see the turquoise water here. That's water about 40 or so feet deep. You're safe to navigate in here. You just, like I said, stay away from the little black patches. And when you have the light with you properly, it's not a big deal. Okay, sun is coming out. What are these guys doing? Uh, just relaxing. Hey, what's that? Oh, later. Hello there, sports fan. Still Friday. Still anchored off Kellen. Friday the 22nd. There's the pass. Is that nice or what? Beautiful beaches here. Some locals. Oh, I wish I could hold this thing a little more steady. But I'm doing all I can just to hang on right now. Hang on. He 
yeah. Right. Sorry for the filming. Alrighty. Okay, I think we've seen about enough of this. There's the waves that are coming in. Again, it's calmed down. We don't have any caps yet. So hopefully in the next couple hours we can head out around that corner. Get on our way. Now, is that not nice or what? Hello. Look at that. Beautiful. I definitely got burnt today. Too much swimming in the water, rubs the suntan lotion off. Reflects. It's too hot. Later. I'll be filming probably tomorrow. Might try and get some as we go through the pass tonight, but we'll probably be pretty busy. Later. Hello everybody, here we are in Mallow at the Toll. Saturday the 23rd. Oh, around 6.30 our time. That's 11.30 Friday, 22nd your time. That's where we've anchored, Kalawat Island in Malawap Atoll. Very, very, very interesting night last night. We left Kalin Island where we were anchored by the pass around just after midnight. Went through the pass one, whoa, about 1.30 in the morning. And it was rough. Projectile vomiting from my co. Once I laid down, it wasn't too bad. Probably should have just done that right away. Just inside the passes here, we can go up to Tarawa, where we're supposed to be the chief, because um, we just got here at 6, and as you can tell, the light's going down. Wouldn't have been safe to continue the another 12 miles. So we parked here, and we'll just explain it to them in the morning if they even ask, because we'll head up there early. Here, I'll take a better shot for you. And again, here's the island we're anchored off of for tonight. As you can tell, it's still very windy. Look at crud out there. Yuck. Anyways, and tomorrow we're going to go up that way to Tarawa. Can't see it too far away. Yeah, nice little surf here as well. Anyways, there you have it. Obviously I'm not going to be able to film every day. It's just a chore going down below in the boat when it's healed over. Let alone grabbing a camera to film. That's just silly. Um, but we'll do the best we can. We're going to try and get an email out tonight and let everybody know where we are. Uh, we have to do some repairs on the Dodger. Uh, we got a little dinghy there in front of it. A greenie hit it. Knocked out the bottom of the pane and this one here is ripped out too. All the stitching is rotten and is ripped out so we got to do some hand stitching. So we stopped here to do that um, because we need that Dodger to get up to Midway. Otherwise, it's just going to be miserable, miserable and wet. Anyways, here we are. Gonna have some meat. I don't know why. Probably puke it up soon. But nonetheless, gorgeous spot. Look at that. It's just gorgeous here. Hello, everybody. Sunday the 24th, our time. 8:46 our time. Just had brekkie and we're about to leave here and head up to Tarawa which is about 12 miles up that way say hi to the chief and then we got a bunch of work to do sew the dodger stow the dinghy properly get ready to stow the anchor properly and then get ready for our long bash up to midway according to the weather facts today there's a high sort of over Hawaii so that's gonna put the winds against us uh, we're hoping it moves out of the way. Generally, should the Pacific highs more usually. See the coral in the water, the color. Very easy to navigate if you're on the ball. Very easy to get in trouble if you're not on the ball. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Very, very nice here. A little bright, got the sun there. 
So the pass we were going to go through, but we couldn't point to it because of the wind, is actually that island back there. There's a pass just to the side of it, and we were going to go straight up past all these islands and towards Carol Wind, directly behind it. Instead, because of the angle of the wind, we ended up coming through a pass of an island. Oh, let's see if we can see it out here. Oh, bear with me. Hang on a sec. Okay. There is an island. Island in the sun. Oh, you're not just going to be able to see it on the horizon. Oh, there, there it is. Came through a pass there. Oh. Alrighty. Okay, so here we are. Still Sunday morning, getting ready to go. As you can tell, I'm looking a little grubby. I had a shower last night, shampooed the hair, got all the salt out of the hair. I had a shave later today. And uh, just enjoy a day or two here. Get some stuff done for the boat so we can make it a bit. No issues. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Just gorgeous. Here, I'll give you a shot of the water. Never mind the camera action. Look at that beautiful water. It's just a gorgeous turquoise green. <sighs> uh, enough for now. Talk to you later this evening. Here we are. We're motor sailing right now. We're charging some batteries, heading up to Tarawa. That's the anchorage we just left from. Right there. <laughs> okay, here we are, sports fans. On our way up to Tarawa. It's that away. Let's see who's at the helm today. Uh, it's Jeffrey. Hey, how you doing? This is uh, paradise. <laughs> see that there? That's the water. When it comes by the boat, when it's rough, it's actually underwater right there. So we got it just a little bit of the main out. We got the jib out, and we're doing about seven knots over the ground. This boat averages about seven knots, so we should be making 160 mile days. But as you can see, she's healed over pretty good. And it just makes life wild. And this is inside the lagoon right now. So when you're out there and you got the swell and the chop, the bow is usually underwater. It's a wild ride. But the boat sails quite well. There we are, oops, a little bit of sun. Yeah, that's the atoll where it came from, where we anchored last night. Curlwai, I believe it's called. Here's the island of Tarawa, 11 o'clock Sunday our time, 4 o'clock Saturday your time. Okay, we're just sailing up to it, we had to do one tack. We're going to be heading for the dock there, anchor off the there, pier. Once again, we're healed over pretty good. There's that water roaring past. There he is again, smiling so away. Does the map show that wreck right on the beach? Uh, yes, it does. Good. And the piers. We've got a balance here. That's island of Tarawa. Right. I get in the shade there. There we are. That's Tarawa. And you'll be able to see the wreck on there. There it is, right there, right in the center. That's where we're heading right now. We'll stay here a couple days, fix things like the Dodger, you can see it falling apart there. Go up the mast, fix the wind instrument, stow away a few things a little better, and we're on our way. Try and send another email out again tonight. Hopefully there's some replies. Okay, gotta go. Okay, here's Tarawa. Shadow of the ship in the water. Beautiful spot. See some of the World War II pillboxy things. And I'll 
I'll just go and the pot one get a better shot for you. Okay, a little better filming for you here. There's an old pier. Oh, well, looks like we've got a squall coming our way. And that there is a 50 cal machine gun mount. Right there. And a piece of World War II. And we'll be heading down to one of those islands there. Our way out. Again, we're here to do some repairs to the boat. Picture the water. The dark down there is coral. We're in 33 feet of water. Nice sandy bottom. Beautiful colored water. No? Harris. Oh, ha Harris? Yes. Kairos. Or oh, George. Okay. C can we go and visit your grandfather? A little bit. After you. Okay, we'll watch Barry go see the chief, and if he does the Captain Bly thing, we'll all be running for the dinghy quickly. We got crabs, crabs, crabs all over the world. Lots of them. Oh, better get going. Here we are, looking for the chief through the jungle. Here we are in the middle of Tarawa. Here we got some World War II bunkers. Oh, big building was in there. Where's Pari? Oh, gotta get going later. Hey, what we got here is the old air strip in Majuro. This is one of them. There's two strips. I don't know which way the wind's blowing. Everything else. And the strip goes way down that way. There's Jeffrey. There's some World War II relics around here. I'll try and get a shot of them for you guys. Very nice. Hey, they need you. They need to talk to you. They need to talk to me? Yeah. That oh, okay. Over there. There's an old World War II bunker. I'm just following this gentleman here to go look at a glass fishing ball. Oh, oh beautiful day. Mm. Hey guys. Hello. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Big communication center here. Here we are in Tarawa, at the end of the apron. There you can see World War II Japanese bomber. All sorts of bits and pieces of planes. Gentlemen are sitting on a piece of plane. Also here you'll see bomb craters everywhere. So this whole area, it's got pieces of tarmac you can still see. It was the apron for the runways. The vegetation is a lot sparser. bunch of Japanese planes. Zero cockpit it looks like. Engines all over the place. Very neat. As you can see, not too much survived the bombing around here. There's our guide, Harry and Entourage. There's the reef.
Okay, everybody, the piece de la resistance of our little tour here today. And it's just too cool. And you can see out here, there's a bit of a pillbox that's been blown out here. There's more remnants. And just to make you realize how close we are, take a look at that. Still have some shells in the ground. That was just too neat. It's all coral here. It's inside the lagoon. That is El Pacifico. Oh my god, it looks lumpy out there. Too neat. This is the side of Tarawa. Now oh, there's that gun embankment placement. Oh, that's a very nice job too. Kids will be kids. No doctor on the island. Okay, we got another piece de la resistance. Look at that. Isn't this gorgeous? Lynn would be here all day beachcombing. Jeff found a 50 caliber shell, which is too cool. Look at that. There we go. And what you'll see out here is Cardinal Sin Anchor right there. We've walked around a good quarter of the island anyways. Walked through the center of the airstrip, saw the old planes, went up to the far point where the big anti-aircraft gun was. And here we are with little anti-aircraft gun is. Coconut crabs, big ones, three bucks a piece. We'll probably take advantage of that. Okay, this is a nice, I honestly do not know what it is. Water is good, about 84, 85 degree Fahrenheit. Oh, feels good in the toes. guys are always singing and whistling. You know what? If I lived here, I'd be doing that as well. Let's get you in the water. Whee! Got my flip flops on. Whee! Alrighty. What's Jeff doing? There he is. Pillbox. There's my boat soccer into the jetty there. I have a good Yeah. Charts, right? You've seen yes. charts? Yeah. 
So this this chart's on the computer. Have you seen that before? No, no. Chart on no. computer. And that's our boat. Say that again. This here is Tarawa. This is your home, right here. Yes. Your home. That's our boat right there. That's where we are. Oh. And this tells us that's us. And we came from we came from Majuro. See Majuro? Yeah. We were in Majuro. And we sailed around Majuro. Wow. And then we came came here to Tarawa. All the way to Tarawa. See? This was us last night. Sailing to Tarawa. Right? And there's Tarawa. Right there. This is Malio. How do you pronounce it? Malio? Yeah. Yeah. That's here. That's us in the boat. And we're going. Let's wait a second. We're going all the way. Okay, this is us right here. We're going all the way to Midway. Long ways. Then all the way. I'll show you here. To Canada. We're going all the way there. See, we're here. We go to Midway, and then all the way to Canada, and that's our home. Wow. Long, yeah, long. long ways. Mike, could you remove your hat, please? I'm sorry. That's okay. See, nice and hot, cold. <laughs> cold water, Canada. And I'll show you. Do you want to see our home? I'll show you our home. So this is Canada. So we sail, we're going to come here to there. And here's home. Right there is Vancouver. That's where we're going. And I'll show you where my... Wait a minute. I find it. Here we are. That's all Vancouver here. And this is where our home is, up this river. See this river? We go up the river, up the river, right there. So that is, that's right there, right there, right there, right there. Too long. Too long. Hey, okay. gonna get lots of sick. <laughs> Oh yes, lots of seasick. So that's it. Pretty neat, eh? Yeah. Okay. Mm. And these, these go on like. When you play? It's you know I mean? mainly for on the boat. If there's a big wave, we hook this to a line. So. Uh, <sighs> so this one goes like this. So, in the cockpit, drinking pop, can you see? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no, no. And then on the beach, before, no. with the gun, this gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah one boy yeah. is up there. Which boy is this? Yeah, yeah. This one. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your name again? Jackie. Jackie. Yeah. Benny, Jackie, Mario. Yeah. Ari and Ari. Ari? Twins. Ari and Ari. Yes. Twins. And what's your picking in his name? Alan. Alan. Okay. More of the gun. Lots of the gun. And then the big gun. Remember? Big gun climbing on top. Yes. Yeah, monkeys. You see monkeys. <laughs> Oops. Rock climbing. You know rock climbing? No. No, probably not, Jeff. <laughs> Let's see it on TV. Tree climbing. Tree climbing. Okay. See? Your climbing, climbing mountain. Your daughter? No, not my daughter. Friend. Your friend? Okay. Let's see my daughter. 
My daughter's very beautiful, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if I can find you. This girl is my daughter. Where? See? This one? This is my wife. This is my daughter. Mm. Okay? Oh. You pretty? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think that. But uh, here we just put luggage because when we're sailing, this is good. Here is, here is good. There is bad. But tonight, some one man will sleep here. One man sleeps there. And one man sleeps there in the back. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch. Oh, he's got no shoes. They're good kids. They're absolutely great kids. Bye bye. <laughs> Sunday the 24th, about 4 in the afternoon your time. So as you can see, what's Barry doing here? He's replacing a prism. Jeff is getting ready to go dive to the boat to do the bottom. What we've done here is we removed the dodger, or the bimini. Uh, it was ripping apart just from the wind. Oh, there's some bananas. Ooh, look at that. Got the hose last night. And some coconuts, and some Japanese glass floats. It was a good haul. So we're almost ready here. Dodger in the second. So what we've done, we've covered it with a tarp and have it all tied across. It was all hand sewn yesterday, all the stitching. And what we're hoping is as the greenies come over that tarp that's tied in is gonna deflect the blow and keep the dodger in place. Uh, the threads are just totally disintegrated and just falling apart. So it's been some busy days. Uh, the skylight here leaking. So that'll be rebedded. And so we're getting there. And the jack lines sails are good. Tomorrow and we should be out of here tomorrow. So Tuesday our time. Should go through the pass by four in the afternoon and we're on our way to Midway. And that's Jeff. Extend a couple of minutes. So we're getting there with the kids and caught coconut crabs last night. Well, they did all the work. Uh, one of the crabs was in the back of the boat. Actually, I'll go show you in one second. Okay, this is looking down in the cockpit, as you can see. There's a bag of coconut crabs. See that window there? One of the little bastards crawled through and was coming down on me. I sleep right there. Talk about waking up in a hurry. And I'll show you the little culprit right now. Just one second. There he is. Coconut crab, little bastard. We're gonna eat him in about an hour. And his buddies. So what the local kids do is they use this potato sack, and they rip off pieces of twine out of it, and they separate the crabs so they don't fight. They call them bad people. Yeah, well, you should have seen me in the morning while this guy was really leaning down on me. Talk about bad people. Anyways, so we're almost ready. So you can see how that's all in here. 
and that'll give us some protection. Again, it's all been hand stitched. Jeff and I did it. Uh, Jeff did the bulk of it with a speedy stitcher. And all along the bottom, had opened up, etc., etc. So we're hoping that keeps the Dodger in place. Not only to preserve it, but for our protection as well. Because what happens is the greenies come right up through there where, where it was ripped. And it comes right through and just soaks you big time. And that's just not enjoyable. And this is the only hatch we can keep open in the boat, so we like to have that open for ventilation because it is humid in there. So there you go. Gonna be a rough trip, but we're out of here tomorrow. And we're just gonna go say goodbye to the school kids this afternoon. We're supposed to meet them after school at the dock right there at 3.15, which we'll do. And we tie up right in there. Yeah. Uh, the trades are still blown. So, very nice. Very, very nice. And where did we end up last night? Well, through the village, across the airfield, out in the jungle, somewhere way in the back of the island there. And we're talking jungle. And we're belly crawling through the vines. Little buggers. Took us to an old, old bunker. It was heavily fortified cement, reinforced cement. And coconut crabs were all through it. Here they were borrowing our flashlights and we were just standing still counting our toes. Lots of fun. Okay, got work to do. Later. Here we are, sports fans. Coconut Crab Central. My little friend. And he is coming this way. Burn, baby, burn. That's three. Those the crabs we got last night. Yeah, looks good. Of course, the one that was after me last night went in the pot first. Want a close up? <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah, crabby wabby. Into the pot he goes. Good man. Hello all, we're, uh, we are now off Wallet Island. We just sailed up from Tarawa, which is just down there. Tarawa, and we'll come off Wallet. And what we're doing here is just gonna spend the night. We've got the boat pretty well ready. So today is Monday, uh, around six our time, 6.48, something like that. 1040 your time, managed to get an email away. Here, I'll just take a better picture from the bow, one second. Here we are, Wallet Island. Did lots of work on the boat today. Got the Dodger all done. Very re-bedded one of the skylights. We scrubbed the bottom. We actually did quite a good time coming down here. Oh, these atolls are just so beautiful. And the water here is so clear. It's a little choppy right now, but you can actually see 70 feet bottom. Try and get a shot in the morning. Like I said, we got the Dodger done. As you can see, we had to build a dam across the front of it to protect it. There's the skylight, the very rebedded. That was leaking. And what we're hoping that this dam does is protects the Dodger from the breaking waves we know we're going to be getting hit with again. That's why we stopped here. So we got a rope across there. We're actually going to take some of the weight belts and lash them to the rope. Uh, we hand stitched. Uh, Jeff did a lot of good work. I did one side. He used the speed owl. All the threads are coming apart and we need the dodger and also we don't want to have it ruined anymore. So that's why we took the bimini off. Uh, there's some bananas. Look at that. Uh, we're having a nice dinner. Shaking big chicken tonight. Broccoli. Fresh broccoli. Oh, and something else, maybe rice. And we're out of here tomorrow. The weather facts looks great for the trip to Midway. As good as it's gonna get. Uh, there's a high right by Midway, moving east over it. That'll give us favorable winds. It's gonna be a little bumpy in the first couple days. This should get a little more to the beam. Gorgeous, gorgeous places here.
Sorry, we're rolling around here and trying to take a video, but what can you do? Uh, anyways. We're now comfortable with the shape of the boat. Lots and lots of man hours. Um, but, all worthwhile. Okay. Try and get some video in the morning. Got an email from Lynn. Got his report card. I'm impressed. And I told everybody I would help them have their girlfriends, wives, whatever. Love them as well. Seems I'm the only one getting email. Thank you, Lynn. Love you. Hello, sports fans. Today's Tuesday, the 26th, about 10 to 10. Uh, Barry. And Jeff just went ashore to talk to the villagers to see where there is a wreck for doing some scuba diving. Um, we're just pretty well got the boat ready. We'll have it all finished up today. Uh, I'm just going to store the gear in the bow because we won't be sleeping there anymore. Uh, we're just airing out the sheets, uh, etc, etc, etc. So we just have to stow the dinghy, put the dive gear away, and we're out of here. Uh, we've sewn the dodger, put a protective barrier around the dodger. I filmed that for you. Uh, re a skylight, uh, etc, etc. So we're going to be in good shape. Uh, like I say, it's Tuesday morning our time, Monday afternoon your time. Uh, we're maybe one, two days behind schedule uh, by having to do these repairs, but um, actually it will be way ahead having them done. Uh, the boat sells really well, we scrub the bottom, and we should be doing about 160 mile days. I was here, I'll film outside for you guys, see what's going on out there. Okay, this is the Anchorage of Wallet in Malo Malolap Atoll. There's the guy. Where are they? There they are. I have no idea what they're doing. But well, they're paddling. I think they went ashore to chat with some locals. Here's some. To check on where a good spot to go diving is. It'll be a quick dive. We gotta get this boat. Uh, final bit of stowing and we gotta get out of here and stay on track. Hope to leave here at around 12. That's two hours from now. Gives us time to get through the pass, which is about 20 miles away, uh, roughly 20 something out. Four in the afternoon, that's still great light. That gives us a couple hours to get around the bottom of this atoll and head up to windward to get uh, the motor's going. To get to Midway, uh, the weather facts looks excellent. In fact, I will show you a picture of the weather facts. One second. Okay, sports fans, basically, this is the weather facts. Majuro is 171 and about 7 north. That's right here. And Midway is right there. So basically we've got a high coming across. The winds rotate like this with a high. So that means is as we get closer and this front moves, or this high moves, relatively we'll be in about this position of it. In other words, the winds will be going this way. Which is perfect because we're sailing that way. The more the winds clock around this way, the better for us. Right now when we start the winds are going to be more against us and that's just miserable banging into the waves just horrible. So we'll do that for a couple days as this high moves across we'll get into more favorable wind patterns actually over here it's this way. So as we get there the winds are just slowly going to clock around on us and push us towards midway. This is what the 24 hour looked like and that's that high we're talking about here and the 48 hour, so it is definitely moving towards midway. And we're just printing out another fax right now, and it's just coming out of the machine. It'll be a few more minutes yet, and we'll see what today say. So everything being equal, uh, and the weather pattern is excellent. Uh, still a little windy out there. It'll be a bit of a bash the first couple days, but uh, the boat's ready for it now. So we'll see how it all turns out. Bye bye. Okay, we're about ready to leave Wallet. Tuesday, April the 26th. Very nice here. It's around, oh, 12.30ish. Boat's ready. Got the dinghy lashed. Dinghy's up there, all lashed proper, strapped in. We're gonna take the anchor in, obviously. We're gonna lower the chain below and seal up the hose pipe. Water gets in there. After midway, we'll actually put the anchor in the transom locker. We're just about ready. Had something to eat. Got 
I got some bananas. And we're heading that way to the pass where those squalls are. Then we go along the back side of the island, around the corner outside, and on midway, which is that away. Later. Hello everybody, it's Tuesday the 5 5.30 our time. Monday the 25th, 10.30 your time. We're just leaving all over that. That island down there is where we turn the corner and set course for midway. We're on the beam reach right now, just going down the bottom of Maloa Lap Atoll. The island sun's up. Australia. True blue Australia. So I got our bananas. So beautiful place. Here's our laptop. There's our boat. Like I said, we're just going down on the bottom of the atoll. There we are. Whee. That's one bunk. We yeah, got another bunk in the quarter berth. Now well, the instrumentation, charts, radios, etc., etc., etc. And what speed are we doing? We are doing. 7 knots. That's our lat long right there. And the water temperature right now is 3 degrees Fahrenheit. Doing 6.5 through the water. And depth is infinity because it's far too deep. So, we're on our way. So, as we turn the corner to the right, it's going to get very bumpy. The latest weather facts is even better than the one we last saw. Hopefully, she get some favorable winds. So that all along that line is reef. Between that island and that island, that's where you lose your boat. Anyways, a little later. Here we are, Thursday the 28th, 1.49 in the afternoon. Obviously the 27th, 6.49 in the evening for you guys. This is the first chance to do some filming. As you can see, the seas have calmed down. The last couple days, we've been feeding to windward, and it's just been miserable. The deck's been the wash pretty well the whole trip. That's Jeff doing. We're doing some reading. Barry's having a snooze. So we're doing four hour watches. Mine's from Yeah. So we're still beating to windward. We're all on our way towards Midway. Um, what are we doing? What does that say down there? Oh, 10 degrees. We need to be at 030, so we're losing a little bit of ground here, but that's okay. We're about 50, 60 miles to the west of our intended track. But according to the weather facts, this wind is going to stay about this 15 and should start swinging to more to this way, which will give us the push to midway. And like I say, the last couple of days it's basically just been hang on. So there's no way in there any filming. Everybody wants pictures of the rough water, but until I grow a hand out of my arse that I can hang on to, I ain't filming. One second, I'm gonna sit down. That's better. Still got some bananas. And yeah, we're doing about six knots. So the weather facts calls for several days of this. We're hoping it does. It's been much more enjoyable than the last couple days. Actually, we'll take a couple of weeks of it. Yeah. 
There we are, still Thursday the 28th. Got Jeff making some pasta. Got the motor running. Charging batteries, making some water. Gotta run the water maker every day. And let's take a look at on this side here. There's Barry. And there's our chart. And we need to be on that pink line. That's the route to Midway. Alright, that's well, there it is. And we're actually to the side of it. So we're still waiting for the more easterly winds. Look inside the boat. There's the cook sweating away. He looks warm. Hell of an asset, that Jeff. Right, let's take a look outside. It hasn't changed too much. One second, I gotta sit down. Okay, again. Nice swell today. Sure beats the last few days. Still get some over the bow, but at least the bow's not constantly drenched. The boat's all sealed up from the spray, and it is humid down there. Yay. Run the engine about twice a day on my watch. Midnight, run it for a bit, charge batteries. And in the daytime, run it for a bit and make water and charge batteries. We don't go through much water, but you gotta run the water maker every day. So, again, another nice day. Later. Okay, live. Not later. Oh, we got pasta. Let's see what a secret ingredient is: powdered milk. Nice boot. Very fine joinery. Oh, it's hot down there. You have no idea. Okay, we had some fish jumping in the water here. I thought they might be dolphins. If they show up again. There they go. Seen a few fine fish. A couple have ended up in the boat. Other than that, not too much. And again, it's been a little too rough. Hmm. Oh, there was something out here. Fish that got away. Hello you guys, this is Friday 29th, 10 in the morning. Thursday 28th, 3 in the afternoon your time. Another nice day, winds are about 15 from the northeast, actually a little more from the east like we predicted. This is the bottom of that high we were in before. And what we have here is the Genoa. We put that up yesterday, we're going too slow. Beautiful blue water. Great night last night. Lots of stars. Flying fish came across. Ended up in that pocket right there. Managed to get them out and back in the water. Sure made a racket. Midway is still oh, roughly a thousand miles that way. I'll check the chart later. I'm hoping the passage would take 10 days. Eh, it might be 12, but a little too early to tell. We're still about 70 miles to the west of our course. We need to be 70 miles that way. But the heading we're on right now will intercept midway, so all is well. And we're doing about six knots. Yesterday when we had the jib still up, we were down to about four knots, so we said forget that nonsense. Changed it out, got the boat up to six knots. Through the night we're doing about six and a half knots. So we're moving, we're getting there. Gorgeous day. The boat is still sealed up again. It's extremely humid. How's our hunters doing? Well, we're getting there. Later.